A deadly home explosion in Mooresville has left a family devastated. This is a before and after look at just how much damage the blast left behind. That explosion killed 61 year old Robert Farley, the father of current NFL player and former local football star Caleb Farley. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is at that scene with where the investigation goes from here. Investigators say the size of the home and the force of the blast are going to make this case a little bit more complicated. You can see how much damage that this blast really did to the home. The garage and the roof over it is really the only part that even resembles the home that was once here. Bricks and belongings are just scattered across the property. Now, the Iredell County Fire Marshal is taking the lead on the case. They're working with the ATF and State Bureau of Investigation agents. Now, they haven't released the official cause of the explosion just yet. Neighbors called 911 after hearing the explosion around midnight late Monday into Tuesday morning. The 6,400 square foot home just reduced to rubble in seconds. Neighbors tell me they smelled gas in the air after it collapsed. And Dominion Energy crews responded to the home and stayed on the scene well into that afternoon. This is the first one we've seen that actually um, exploded like this with this kind of destruction. This was a 6,300 square foot home and there's nothing left but maybe a part of the garage. What concerned me is that there wasn't any fire with the explosion. It just it just happened, and then it was just a blast. And then no fire, no smoke. The house just collapsed, and it was it was crazy. Authorities say the man who died is 61-year-old Robert Farley, father of Tennessee Titans player Caleb Farley. Robert had been living in the home less than a year. A 25-year-old family friend was also in the home at the time, but was able to walk away from the explosion with only a concussion. Neighbors are now leaving flowers at the home and it's a show of support. They say they want to help out just in any way they can. Reporting in Mooresville, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.